Kevin. Where are you? Bobby, what camera? Hey, y'all. Wolfpack, what's going on? It's me, EC, little help on the camera action, and I know you're looking for somebody else, but I haven't seen her yet this morning. In fact, it's really weird being here alone. I'm like, can you? <laughs> Rocking out. Man, that was right out of oh Wayne's world. So, that was oh right, God, look right, how red my face is. Right out of, it's because I was squat. Is that a mute yet? Right out of Wayne's world. It just doesn't get old. I tell you, it's, <laughs> this is like out of the basement. Yesterday, I was doing it by myself, and this is where I get breathless, and I was like, this is where UC tells me that hey, like, I can't breathe, which I can't. That was squat. Holding that squat behind you. Did you know I was back there? <laughs> <laughs> this girl, my God, you have no, no stamina. It was like two seconds, and you're like, <sighs> that's unbelievable. I, maybe because I've worked out like the whole morning already, and maybe oh, I'm tired by the time I get to this point. Hey, Force. Yeah, I don't know, um, but you can really hear your heavy breathing. <coughs> I am not Luke. Hey, I am your Yeah, the, the team held it down yesterday without me. I appreciate that. Those guys are so cool for doing that. Hey, Pony Girl, I missed you too. Go ahead, smile for Pony Girl, because all we heard about is uh, it's coming. smile, no, no, smile, it's, smile. It's coming. There will be a point in time, but I just don't give out free smiles. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to actually genuinely want to smile. We weren't sure you were going to be here today. I was excited because I was dog sitting for yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eric, and then I said, hey, just in case for dog sitting purposes, when are you mm -hmm. going to be back? And he's like, one. Well, I was like, oh, yeah. you're making a live stream? And I was like, yay. Yeah, we made it. Just you barely. Made it. Barely. Just barely. No, it was barely. good. It was good. We were up Hi, in, in California again. But uh, Northern California, up by Susanville, uh, Lesson was it Lake Lesson Lason? Lake Almanor. Lake Almanor, but it's called Lason Lassen Natural County. Lassen, Lassen 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 County. Forest. Was Lassen. it smoky? It was a little smoky still, but it blew away, and it the lake is really pretty. Last year, the entire lake, except for this little peninsula area, was completely engulfed in flames. It was the guy that we were staying with, their family. They had some pictures and they were showing them to us. And it looked like the scene out of Star Wars. What episode? The Revenge of the Sith, I think, where Anakin Skywalker is like on the lava. Which one is that, Bobby? Uh, you know, I, I thought you were the Star know. Wars guy. Okay. In the chat, little. folks, which one so, was that? So anyway, it seemed like literally like lava enclosing all the way down to the water level. So it's completely torched. The good news is they're not gonna have a fire like that for probably another 50 years. But there are still complete remnants of destruction and burning. Just the, the forest fires. Just the, the forest, trees. Yeah, the trees right. are torched. They look like little toothpicks that are charred toothpicks mm -hmm. all over the place. So sad. Uh, but it's part of, you know, the circle of life. It's just hence so yeah. so it's really interesting. Orders always make Eric smile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dragon Slater. A hundred thousand <laughs> Wait, what Man. was that? I will, I will hold a smile Wait, where, for... where was that 100000 Dragon that. Slayer was threatening me with a $100,000 order. That would be very... You know, the biggest order we've ever had... You get an automatically entry to come visit us if you spend 100000 okay. It's a hands down, we'll get you now, here. <laughs> this is a true story. This was May 2021. I, I, even, I don't even know what this is, but okay. I know what the story is. Yeah, May 2021. Be and Walker. He would even dance. He would. And, would you dance for a hundred thousand dollar order? And we have this app. It's called Shopify. And so you know, I'm actually out east. I was at Virginia Beach, trying to recruit some Navy SEALs and whatnot. And the thing, the phone goes off. Chiching. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Fifty five thousand dollar order that came through on somebody's credit card on my phone. It was joyful. And I looked at him like, wow, that's a really big order. So I, I, I called the guy up. We, you have to vet, like, does that, was an, ac an accident? Oh, yeah. Was there an extra couple of zeros yeah, yeah. add on to totally. that? Yeah, You don't want to ship that out the door and have, like, a fraud <laughs> situation. So, so I, I found the guy, looked him up, What's up called Dan? him, and no doubt, I mean, this, they were two brothers, and they were preparing for a family of eight for a year supply, and they wanted nutrient survival. They had tried one of our sampler packs. Okay. That, that, no, this is a no, true no, story. No, no, I remember this because it was a week before someone, our customer service said they sent out like all samples of everything because they were going to, yeah. with the intent of making a big yeah. order, tried it. Well, this, I, honestly, this wasn't even a Black something American like that. Express, probably. It, it, they, they, they bought one of our uh, sampler packs, 
you know, this was actually before we said buy anything, get a sampler pack, which is still out no, there. No, this by was the way. before we really had any traction. This was just like they found us. They absolutely found us. Yeah, early adopters. But fifty five thousand dollars. So I'm waiting for that order to be uh overcome by something even even bigger. Yeah, look at that. Pony girl it is I got pigtails, pony girl. I got pigtails, pony girl. <laughs> I, can't, I, just I can't keep up. So I decided that um I saw somebody with who was it the other day? I was, you know, when I was in high school, I had a mullet. Oh my God, that would have been hot. Do you have any photos of that? Uh, I have a photo. Mullets are it, making a comeback right now. If you have any kids I've that are in the that. like 20 year old range, mullets AP's are in coming the house. back. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We got AP in the house. I wasn't sure. Hey, I know he's got hey some Rudy, have you ever had a mullet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Send I, so, so, I, so I had a mullet. I'll have to bring one in. I'll see if I can find it. I had a mullet, and, and then, you know, Aaron Rodgers has been walking around with this man bun thing, and that's convinced me I do not want a man bun. I think that just looks kind of funny. Do you think it's possible that you can grow a man bun at this time? Well, I, when I went to West Point, they shaved off my hair, and that was the last I saw my mullet, and I never looked back. I don't miss it at all. Do you ever have a tail? Like, because you're from Jersey, do you ever have the tail, like the rat tail that was really no, popular no, in the I, early I, I've 90s? I've never done that. Yeah, mullets. Now, Bobby, now, you're laughing, did you? I know you did. I had about an 18-inch tail. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably still pull it off, probably. I was 15, though. Mullet, thank yeah. you, Saltine. Mullets are, are definitely, there's definitely a mullet, there's definitely a mullet thing going on You right know now. what a mullet is? It's mm -hmm. a fish. <laughs> a mullet is a fish, all right? It's also a, a cool hairstyle. Good ladies. afternoon, Laura. How are you? Is that a ding? So Eric is conditioned like Pat no. Love's dog. Anytime he hears a ding, he's like, uh, sale. Yeah, <laughs> except it's on silence sale. right now. It's on silence. Sale. I can hear it down the hall. Like when his door is no. open, you hear ding, no, It's not ding. that bad. No, it's not that bad. Eric. No, no. Okay, but it is, yes, I mean, that makes the world go around. It keeps us all employed and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, we, we have to. We appreciate you, and we appreciate your we support Thank of our you. wonderful company. A good mullet, a sexy, shy moment, I agree. Let me see if I can find that picture. It was, it was uh, I think I've got this picture of me in my wrestling singlet. Bring any of your photos. I, Eric, my it's, icon it's, it's, for It's up Eric. to here, okay? It's not a full singlet shot, but I am in my singlet, kind of making my mean, high school, intimidating look. Were so, you? You, you were stockier then, weren't you? I feel like you were. Uh, okay, so my senior year of high school, I wrestled 158. So I cut down probably from about 175, I don't know, 180 to 158. And your natural body weight, you tend to be probably 10 pounds, 15 pounds heavier. And it's, it's just, you know, it's part of the deal. It's like cutting weight, you know how to do it. It's all water. A, a gallon of water is eight pounds. So that's a lot of weight. You just so go you, into you a just, sauna, you do a couple the, runs. The first thing you do, you start cutting water weight. Water weight's the easiest thing just I to shed. I push go preppers. But so. it, it does put a strain on your body. Bobby, you got something? Oh, I was going to say, some international in the house. Some One from Australia earlier, now Portugal. Oh, good, yeah, all right. Global, Thank you, guys. International. Yeah. We know we have an Italy. We know Chris is in the house somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't ship internationally yet. There he is. Yet. There he is. Vicenza. Hi. Now, we do ship you if you're an APO. Tail. If you're an APO. Which is Chris or, in Italy. Or FPO. In, give us the acronym. Foreign Post Office. Uh, what's APO? Is American fleet? Post Office. Fleet Post Office. Know. Terry, born in Gastonia, Moderators, North Carolina. Moderators, APO. All right. FPO. Yeah, so, so anyway, but it's through the military. Basically, you, you can ship stuff all around the world and put a U.S. stamp on it. And that's it, that's it'll, awesome. It'll go to Christopher. So we do have to put a, a little bit of a declaration on because it is going across. Um, I still am pretty cut. I have pictures of Eric that I just use for in-house that are so great of like skinny Eric, oh, caricature okay. Eric. All right. No, come on. So, they're good. So anyway, it's good to see everybody. It is Sunday. Hi, Linda. It is day 18. Wow. I almost said 17. That was yesterday. Day 18. You I'm excited. We are ticking to the end of the month. Eric. I can't wait. You're wishing this time away with these wonderful people in no, this, this is awesome good. community we, that we you're will, creating? We will figure, Army Post Office, thank you. We will figure out how to keep some of this going. Probably not on a daily cadence, but, uh, but. We, I, you know, honestly, this has really opened my eyes to how wonderful our community is. And how smart and connected yeah. and yeah. everything. Yeah. I love it. Yep, totally. And I, th I love that, the, that even like when we're not too. here, like people are on chit-chatting amongst themselves before we even go live, which means that they're familiar with one another, comfortable with one another, ask questions, yep. get responses. It's awesome. 
I'm officially not bald. I'm just <laughs> I think his hair migrates oh, south for the hair. winter. That's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's so Yeah, great. you know what they call Thanks, uh, a Spire. mullet? If you, if you go bald up top, what they call a mullet is a skullet. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Thank you for enlightening me. Look that me. up on the internet, a skullet, <laughs> and then check it out because it's, it's not a good look. Are but you glad for, that you still got some hair on top there's of your head? A, there's a lot of people that when they lose the hair on top, there's very little up there. When you lose the hair on top, it's, it's thin. And what I would say is I have very light hair. Okay. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> it's true. And I, I've already gone through the Rogaine story. The Rogaine story know, is we're, ridiculous we're, because the, the instructions on Rogaine, you know what the first thing is? You could have hair loss. You will have, not you could, you, you will, will have hair loss, but this is all natural. <laughs> and don't worry about it. And like, how, why would anybody that's trying to grow their hair back put a tonic on their hair, on their head, that's going to cause their hair to fall out? You're holding on to any hope it that you can sense. get in the moment of desperation, Eric. And maybe mm -mm. if you believe enough, the placebo, you can grow your own <laughs> hair back. I had no idea. Becky had hair. Freshwater boy. You check. She Becky's got big hair. Don't care. Yeah. I told you when the space buns are in, it means it's out of control and I'm, I'm bringing in reception from satellites. That's so true. it's not that's good. True. That's true. Okay, good. So anyway, it's <laughs> oh, fresh good to be back. Boy, again, congratulations on the win yesterday. Oh, fresh yeah? Boy was our winner yesterday. Yes. I made it through about 20 minutes and then I uh, was overcome by margaritas. Really? Uh, Eric's, Eric, please remind it's everyone if you should have beer first before liquor or liquor before beer. What's the little saying you learned in college? Not college, high school. Beer before liquor, never sicker. And then beer... Beer in, before wine, always fine. And then something like you're in the clear. I feel like there's in the clear. I don't know. I only know okay. those two. I don't like wine. So the Crazy only one I worry about Linda. is, is the beer before Sunday. liquor never sicker. So yeah, so I violated that rule yesterday, but I somehow still recovered. It was great. And I, I'm not a big drinker. I mean, every now and then, you know, like once or twice a day, max. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was waiting for this breakdown. His business is like very stressed. I mean, all the people trying to keep all the people happy, the That's employees it. happy, the wife, the kids, the yeah. pod he has to unload when he gets oh, home. Oh, the pod is unloaded. You, yeah. It's completely unloaded? Except for the, the pool table, which I don't want or need. But my wife insisted I bring the pool table. We want to bring the pool Wait, table here. You brought a pool table out that you don't want? Oh, my goodness. It a just takes up a lot of space. There's a, there's a plan about it that I do not know yet. Where, she's going to build a gonna shed. Be. She's going to build a she shed to put the pool table in. No, this is, oh my gosh. I tell you, I've learned my lesson so many times over with this woman I'm, I'm married to. <laughs> and it typically involves moving boxes that are never unpacked from home to home. I like the idea of bringing it here. You had said that. We have uh, so much space here. That is my, that was my plan. That is my plan. And then she can I, come here no, anytime So she what wants. I told her is I'm not setting this up until we're, we're final with where it's going to be. Have you ever taken apart a pool table by yourself? It is not. Wine is fine, but liquor is quicker. Yeah. Liquor. I feel, what was uh, the previous one, Bobby? And make the sure, one that... though. Here's the thing. I had my nutrient survival in the morning and for lunch. And then it you was. You depleted your nutrients out through the alcohol. Yeah, I bled them out. <laughs> so I you bled them out. So that's called, that's smart planning. Good. That's breaking even, yeah. healing the body before you hurt it, and then reheal it with the liquid nutrient afterwards. You know what we need to do? But he, you, the other thing is, one of the best remedies if you've maybe think that you had a little too much is take a couple um you know t have a, have some have some nutrient survival at the or a liquid nutrient at the end of the day and just one of those little packs and that's like it's a power pack thing and it helps restore your 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 nutrients and make sure you're drinking some water of course and a couple aspirin well i, I have okay. a confession to make back before your time here right before you got here exactly cracking <laughs> stored shelf is we would make we, I did Shake Shack Fridays, but then we did like happy hour sometimes on Fridays and we had alcoholic beverages and I made a margarita with the liquid nutrient. I bet you that's not a bad idea. Mm -mm, when we do bad. the works. chef hits the fan, maybe we can have fun with that. <laughs> now, don't tell my boss, boss, okay? The guy that I work for, he is- Which one is that? The PC? The billionaire. PC, okay, got it. Yeah, In fact, a very passionate- visionary leader he has probably no idea that we're doing this right now and i'd like to keep it that way <laughs> he's no he's gonna find out there's yeah. no way something's gonna happen uh let's let's try to avoid that okay, okay. the ms right. vanilla shakes looks perfect for well, the kalua exactly like a mudslide the, now we're talking okay we should have a happy hour friday one day and make drinks with all of our drinks i, I like that idea okay. i like that idea all right okay. so, well speaking of vanilla shake becky it's time what is, what is today's prize for our contestant 
You know, Bobby took your thing. Bo- oh, Becky, it's time to get to showing the prize. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I mean, we're at 315. It is Sunday. Eric, we're going to start by giving away one of your favorites, okay? Good. We're going to give your favorite, my favorite, and then some swag. What is right? it? What is it? Quick. Oh, I see it. Love that. We're going to give a number 10 can away of your hearty apple cinnamon oatmeal. 25-year shelf life. Mm-hmm. So this is a stock one, or if you can't help yourself, you can open it up and get it going on the daily. That is my daily. Now, this is absolutely 100%, no kidding, what I start every day with. And it's part of my routine. It's, it's great. Uh, I have actually, I keep a half cup serving cup in here. And my wife is always, Eric, where's the... Where's the half cup at? Did you do it again? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So where, where's the half cup at? And, and I'm like, did you check in the, in the oatmeal? And she'll have to go over and she'll, you know, pfft. but then I'll take it again and, you know, I'll put it in there until she uses it next time. But this is it. Are the roses. Half cup of this is a full serving and you're getting 40 essential nutrients, 230 calories. And I actually, I heat up a little hot water in oh, our, sure. Sure. in our uh, little, you know, teapot. And then add it just by eyeball, because I've done this so much. You're supposed to add a third cup of water, stir it up, let it sit for about three or four minutes. And it is very quick rehydrating, not like your typical uh, Quaker oatmeal. This stuff, this rehydrates very, very quickly. And I do put a little bit of milk in there. As you know, uh, I'm a red cap milk drinker. Whole milk. Whole, whole milk. lot of love. Whole milk. That's the way God made the cows is to give whole milk, not in this skim stuff. But uh, yeah, and it's, so that's how we get things going. It's good. It's my favorite. Absolutely my favorite. No doubt. Okay, I saw up there, if the mods can catch Indiana. this uh, as I say this, someone just asked if there's a customer service number that they can call. And there is. It's 1-877. Can you read with me? one 877 1-877-633-6637. Yep. And don't call one. that right now because Do not, no, one's no one is paying attention. No, just yeah. just <laughs> us, we're here right now. So one 633 6637 Yep, yep, that's good. It's on. It's usually on all of our packaging. Yep. We just read that at the bottom yep. of um, that oatmeal. So Eric, you want to see what's next? Yeah, what's next? So that's, that's a good one. Good job. Vanilla shake for the Kahlua, the Kahlua comment. So it's, can we make a mudslide or a sombrero? Those were my drinks of choice when I was a young Jersey Shore party girl. I didn't understand the caloric density of that, but luckily, if I have energy now, my 20-year-old self was out of control. So Off the charts. Off chart, mm-hmm. off chart. That's Jer- 10 Jersey miles people a day. in general. Jersey people dancing in the clubs. Yeah. So I needed the extra 500 calories in my Kahlua and cream. Wow. So vanilla shake, how many serving? So five hundred calories. No, this is one ninety. What are you talking about? No, what? the the this some the the Kahlua and cream milkshake mudslide that oh, I had okay. was probably five hundred okay. calories. This is before we were even around. So now, I would do it yeah. this way. So vanilla shake. So you can even, not kidding, when you cook this with water, put a little bit of this in there That's and, a good idea. and up the protein level. That's, That's good what idea. I would do. Um, but if you don't have one or the other, the whole milk does add about eight grams of. Uh, protein to it with the milk added to it, but that, there, that's a lot of milk. Is that a whole cup of milk? Eight, grams? eight ounces. I'm not, I'm eight not, ounces I'm of not milk. Putting eight ounces of milk in my oatmeal. Some people boil their all. milk and then stir in their oatmeal. Uh, okay. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I, so, I know that. I know. That. Yeah. Okay. It's so good. depending on how creamy, great, okay. like you want your stuff, Eric. It's good. Yeah. Hello, down the well. So oh, what's down in the well? This this guy actually this vanilla shake. This is probably calorie for calorie our most packed nutrient-packed product. The vanilla over, like chocolate also? Chocolate, chocolate's up there too. I think chocolate's actually got more protein. I think chocolate is 24 grams. This is 20 grams of protein in each serving. There's 15 servings in here. This, I'm telling you, this thing, if you were looking to shape up and slim down, uh, this is a meal replacement, no doubt about it. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, but I'm telling you, this is a product that would keep you... 24. my, My voice keeps cracking. 24. I told you it was 24. I've got a good memory. 24. That's a prop can. It's really light. <laughs> yeah, 24. And this is 20. And then it's loaded with all the... Oh, my God. You got to <sighs> That's what happens when you have too many tequilas. I'll keep going yeah. for you. All right. So, so we have 3.5 grams of fat per serving, 190 calories, 20 carb, 20 mm-hmm. protein. So in a weight loss setting, this is from my 
I'm Becky Goff, brand manager here at Nutrient Survival, former personal trainer. What do you know about weight loss? I know a lot. I was a personal trainer for like 20 years. You just got to expend more than you take in. That's really the simple key. But here mm -hmm. you have 20 carbs and 20 protein, which is amazing for the impact of the glycogen, the your blood sugar, your insulin. So when carbs are too high and there's no protein, that's where you get that insulin spike where you, you know, you, you come way up and you drop way off. But when you have fats, carbs, and especially when the proteins and the carbs are equal or really close to equal, that is like the optimal sweet spot to be in for energy, just to, to maintain an equal energy. What do you got over there? That's probably way higher carbs than protein, right? Yeah. Yeah. 32 yeah. versus 12. Right. So, um, but again, there's different, there's different reasons. The, the higher carbs you want in the morning, cause you have the whole day to burn everything yeah. off. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're going to bed, you're starving again, if you've done something exerting, you definitely want to put some carbs back in. We had that sponge analogy where you need to fill the sponge back up, but not overflow it. Cause that's where the fat stores come in. Um, but again, this is an awesome product. Okay. I like it filled with yeah. all the vitamins, minerals, all that good stuff. Home run. All right, good. So pairs, Eric's favorite, my favorite. There you go. Okay. Favorites. We're, like, we're like friends. It. Okay, good. All right. Awesome. Guess what, Eric? Guess what else? But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. It's your favorite. I'm going to spill this. I'm going to need a sippy cup. I'm going to start seeing that go through the shot. Okay, ready? It's your favorite. Yep, go ahead. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Eric, yeah. Eric, Eric, that is my favorite. The Wolfpack Patch. Okay, so Wolfpack Patch. Yeah. Eric, tell us why this is your favorite. Could be long stocking. I think that's pretty appropriate. It's long. I mean, yeah. Or Cindy Lou Who. Um, this is my Cindy favorite. Cindy Lou Who from This the is my favorite because, number one, it's got the wolf. It's got the wolf. This is the symbol Thanks, for Katie. nutrient survival. All right, this is our symbol. This is our <laughs> spirit animal. We've adopted this wolf How? for the past uh, two and a half years since we've been around. And it is a symbol of survival. So you can look up wolf, and that's why you guys are the wolf pack, because we are survivalists, all right? And then it's also my favorite, because it is just, it just is a fine piece of merchandise. I mean, I yeah, like it. it. It's really cool. I mean, the, the weave in this thing, the stitching is so tight. You can't so even tight. bend it. It's so tight that you it's can't so even good. see any so striations because of the crisscross of the stitching. For some of you out there that may have won one of our patches already, you should pipe in and, and let the folks know that we're Today's not just your kidding favorite about giveaway. this. It's not even done yet. That, that's killer. And by the way, I figured it out. It dawned on me how I'm going to get merchandise out to people without selling it. You're going to drive it in your Tesla like Santa Claus. No, I, I have figured it out. Got to wait for the unveil on that. But we're going we're gonna to do that. We're going to start equipping this wolf pack with lots of merch. We're going to... Okay. Yeah, if they want it. Okay. Thanks, Ooh, JT. Thanks, thanks, JT. Thanks again to the mods, JT. Be white. See, Dawn, she's prepper. got a wolf tattoo on the left bicep. I love it. I love it. It's great. Send, send us photos of this stuff. Oh, if you have yeah. anything related, we will post it. We will comment. We yeah, will yeah. send you a wolf patch for your participation. I mean, on whatever that, it takes. We want to see all the contributions. We, I, we're going to show you did something. Did you run that by me just now? I just did. Okay. I beg for forgiveness. I'm the brand manager. It's good all for right. the brands. All right. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. All right, one other thing. Bobby, put it on Eric for the infomercial. Hi, I'm Eric Christensen, CEO of Nutrient Survival and a former U.S. Army Ranger. That's it? In times of stress, the mind and body can fail. That's why you need Nutrient Survival. Top shelf, delicious, special ops grade nutrition. Designed to the standards of the U.S. Army, but, only, but intended for people like us. I screwed it up. Good, because they were making... All right, all right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, what's the speaking of flair? The weather outside is frightful. Not quite. And almost it's like 70 degrees here and overcast, so we're freezing around here. So, and the final thing is our OG. This is actually if you look close, it says nutrient. You almost knocked it over. Oh my gosh. Almost dipped your I almost dipped your new scarf in this. So, it is a scarf and a hat combo. It's perfect, Eric. It's so good. Now, remind our listeners that you're actually not sending one that you've... No, put worn. on my head. No. Yeah. We have like three left. These were a Christmas present three years ago. And we had done inventory and we found all these fun things that are like awesome and so light and the perfect for weather. So you're like my, like my mom, basically. What you're saying is you're like your mom. My mom. Okay. Well, no, here's what my is, mom does. 
She gives you still. Oh, wait, I've seen she, stuff in your mom, basement. My what? mom. Here's the thing. What my mom does. Wait. She. What right? does she give you? She that has I a saw. closet of <laughs> stuff that she's picked up at Big Lots or Swains or whatever. Right. No and, singing, Dan. That's mean. And she will, she will store these things away like a squirrel, waiting for the right opportunity, and then pull it out. Wait, I was. And she will. That will be. Did Christmas. your mom watch this? I don't think so. I don't okay. think she makes it this far. No. <laughs> okay. See, there it is, doing the prepper. Got the patch. And Becky it's will awesome. soon get her own spinoff show. So, Thanks. So Thank you, Papa's Farm. I think what mm -hmm. you need to do, Becky, is stop telling our viewers that we're giving them stuff from my mom's closet. No. So we, I was at your house one time. We were over oh, with the pennies because Eddie Penny yeah. mm -hmm. came over. We had dinner at Eric's house. And he takes us into the closet to show us, like, they were talking some. Thank you, Lisa. What was that shotgun thing that you had? Like a. It was a I giant don't know what you're talking gun. about. Anyway, but then in the corner, where there was all these Christmas presents that were not opened. They were not opened. This yeah, was no in April. So I was like, Eric, what are these Christmas presents? He's like, they're from my mom. Are so you announcing this live? But it was, I forget what it was. We opened were, one. No. We opened something and it was like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What Be the heck was because, it? Because, I mean, I still have that box downstairs with all these presents that. They should have been opened, I think, two Christmases ago. But, but nobody in the family, like, they comes from grandma, they're not opening because no, 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 they're no, like, no, it's no, like no, a they don't know about pie tin. They don't know about them. I'm not into collecting things. Stuff. Yeah, stuff. I believe in living a minimalist life, and I'm a light fighter. You know, being in the military. It is true. I have been in Eric's house multiple times, and his house is very, very it nice. It used to and be until Well, not actually, I watched, up. yeah, until the pod showed up. But this is, I mean, you're trying to figure out what to do with this stuff, but it is tastefully minimally decorated mm. it's it is yeah. I, I have to say that that's yeah. one thing spartan it's spart beautifully spartan yeah okay, um, okay so you're gonna get the Thank two you. cans the patch and this wonderful it is nice though that is is that from china it's it is, probably from china it's from china sorry most things are from china we didn't not know. our stuff our stuff is not from china it is so you're gonna get this made scar. right here in reno america and the hat that's right. All of it. Okay, Keep Eric. Are we talking about anything useful today other than giveaways? Yeah, so we'll give folks a little bit of time here. So we're at about 326. And so I hear... I, Just educate them. Yeah, I mean, I was driving out to a lake yesterday, and the lake is being drawn down to generate hydroelectric power for California. This was in California. Okay, it's called Lake Elmanor. Really nice place. Uh, and anyway, so... The, the lake, the water level was, was low. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, man, what are we going to do? And thankfully, we've got all these mountains around us. And so they're not completely, uh, and there is a, a, a minimum that they have to maintain the, the water level at. So that is statutory. Although I, I'm sure they would change the statutes if they needed to, okay, because it is California. Okay, but anyway, for right now, it's, it's really pretty. So I was just thinking, like, water, 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 water. And then... You actually, get, you got a book too, right? Oh, you missed it. Did you it. talk about that? Eric didn't see anything I didn't that see I did that. yesterday, which is probably a good so, thing. So anyway, so you got so the book. Good. So I got the giant survival know-how book that we talked about. Yeah. When Eric said, oh, I'm going to talk about some things based on water today. I'm like, water. I'm like, there's a water chapter. There you go. So you can get so that. So we have. Everybody should have a survival book. No, we, we talked about yeah. having a book club about this. Yeah. You, don't look at the comments from yesterday. Even if you just read one page a day, you're going to get smarter. No, yeah. So this chapter, I told you I love this book because you can more. read good. on good. exactly what chapter, but it also has different variants yep. on how to create it out of That's like right. condensation, how to find the right spaces e in the ground. So you have... Yeah. Well, and you can go to the internet too. They got all the yeah. stuff on the internet. Yeah, but you got to know what you're looking for. All so right. tell us what we're looking for, Eric. Okay, so, so check it out. So I literally get home at uh, 2.30... Pacific, so about a half hour before we come on, and I grab a bunch of stuff. Said I got to get this stuff ready for my Wolfpack uh, live stream. So what I came out with, I just grabbed a couple things. Don't okay. forget to like us. You like Eric's smile. That's right. That's right. So first you off, you like my hair. Like, like her crazy. You like the channel. All right, water. So there's there's a rule of threes in survival. There's a rule of threes. Three minutes without uh, air. Good. So far you're one for one. Three hours without. This is a hard one. Three hours. Three hours. Okay. I'll, I, not air. It has to do with your core, your core temperature. Oh, heat? Three hours without your, your core temperature being where it needs to be in a harsh environment. Okay? okay. So if you're 
super hot, you're going to have heat, you know, dehydration and stroke, heat stroke. And if you're cold, you're going to hypothermia, hypothermia. you're going to die. Okay. Okay. So three hours basically of exposure. That's we why you talk Bobby. about shelter. Okay. That's why you talk about shelter first often in survival. The Hold next on one, one more for Bobby. Three, Come on. three, what's the next unit? Days without water. Good. Three days without water. Because that's like water. food. No, I feel like I can go two weeks without food. Three. It's a rule of threes. Why are you introduce two? Three weeks without? Food. Okay, good. All right, so Becky's got it. <laughs> Air. I got to see. Kind of exposure. Close. Right? You got to keep your core what it was designed to. Thanks, Happy um, Mac. Water, or as they say in Jersey, water. Water. It's w with a ah. No, no, ERs no. ERs are A's and A's are Okay, maybe North Jersey, South Jersey, it's water. Woo it's water. Water. Heather, water. Water. And then... Uh, and then the last is, is food. So you got three weeks, although, okay. Hey, we'd like to have lots of food all the time. All right. So, okay. So on that vein, water. So what there, do you got? I got a lot of stuff. So first off, let me just start with, we talked about this. Cause this is, did you have this in your, me, your bug out bag? Yeah. Let me, let me, let me just cover it. So right here, right. What is this? This is Clorox. Okay. Um, and there's a couple things about water, right? First off, you have to find it. And then it, you have to make sure that it is, uh, you're able to consume it without getting sick. Oftentimes bugs are in it. So if it's still water, standing water, that's a problem. So if you, if you in a SHTF situation, have you, need, you need to get some water. And you were talking about this before the show. So if you're getting ready for a massive storm to hit and possibly your water. If I'm in the Northeast out, or in like Florida, I'm going to fill my bathtub up with water. That's it. Because now I have some, I mean, it might not be fully filtered yet, but I got at least, we, yeah. wait, how many gallons? We've 50. talked about this. 50 gallons 50 in a gallons. bathtub. Fill that bathtub up. So I can get a couple of days of like bird bath, shower, boiling. Good job. But, okay. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Fill that up. And you know, Rudy is up in Alaska and they have a massive storm that's just yeah, smashing they, I saw that, the coast like, right now. Inches of never like yeah, the huge. most wet storm they've had in a long time. So, and speaking Sunshine of exposure. Sunshine survival. You got to call me. So you're speaking of exposure. The, the Bering Strait is about zero degrees Celsius. That's, that's, that's cold. So you're going to, if you're in that for three yeah. hours, you're going to die. No, I'm going to make five yeah. minutes. I can't even make yeah. it when it's 60 yeah. degrees out. So fill that bathtub up. And then here's the thing. Four drops of water. Four. Four drops of water in a quart of water. Four, I'm sorry, four uh. drops of bleach in a quart of water. Thanks, Bobby. Bobby. Okay. But here's the poison, thing, J you Jason, know. you don't want to, you know, it is poison, but if you put four drops in a quart of water, like it's going like to let it sit for five eyedropper type, 20 right? minutes, 10 minutes, uh, and, and you will be able, it'll kill the bugs and you'll be able to eat it. A question. Or drink it. Sorry. Question. Yeah. What is a water bob? Is that no. Bobby in the water? I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's something that you float around your tub that helps preserve it's the like water. A, like, is it? Oh, yeah, sure. Or is it sanitation yeah, 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 or yeah. filter? That's a, that's a good idea. Like, you know, you have, uh, you can put in the, the pure um, solid tabs, like great, great Man Prepping was talking about that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. Yeah, he did save the day. Bobby's good because I kept, kept talking about put four drops of water in your water. Okay. <laughs> now, this whole thing. <laughs> Tequila. This will this will get you 5,000 gallons. And even, you know, the life expectancy on the half-life on bleach is, they say, six to six months to a year. And then you're going to lose 20% efficacy. So okay. even so, you could have this for five years and you're still going to be able to use it. You'll just, instead of adding four drops, you'll add, what is that, 20 drops to a, a quart. It's still going to work pretty well for you. So just as a visualization, yeah. you said how many, this, 5,000? 5, 5,000 gallons. 5,000 gallons. So we said it like a normal 20 by 32 in-ground pool is about mm -hmm. 18,000 gallons. So a yeah. quarter of that pool, you could... Yep. If it were not shocked with all the chemicals for swimming and you just were sanitizing yeah. it for bacteria yeah. and potentially yeah. to drink. Well, don't do it all at once. Take what you need and then. Right. A little bit at a time. Yeah. Do, is there a certain Purify amount of time that. I have to do my drops and then wait? I mean, I'd wait, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. I don't know. Look it up. So okay. a water bob, bob is a big bladder that you put in your tub. Which yeah, yeah. someone told us that recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's all, that is a really that's awesome good. idea. Like a big bladder, like one of those hot packs that your grandma used to put that's on it. you. Well, but like that's a fifty-gallon version. That's insane. Like a camelback, but ginormous. Yes. So, so let's stay well, on the topic. Go. Let's stay, no, let's stay on uh, chemicals. So these are <laughs> water purification tabs. Uh, you can get this stuff, and there's probably about fifty of them in here. 
is and this... they're they're great. So they used to be iodine. I, okay, I carry these on my canteen. Is that different than iodine? These are actually not iodine. I think this is a civilian version. It's called tetraglycine hydropyridine. Okay. okay. 16%, 17%. I, can, are these like little... Uh, I'm not sure if it's open. Go ahead. You can, you can look at it. Okay, yeah. it's open. Good. Yeah. Oh, they're like little, they're like yeah. little pellets. Yeah. And so a lot of people complain about the taste. I just need one of these? Yeah, put one of those in your canteen. Whoa. Okay. And it's, a, it's super tiny. And let it sit for... It's like half the size of an Advil. Five minutes, 20 minutes, I don't know. And shake it up. Shake it up. Five minutes. Shake I like it up. The, I like the portability of that. It's teeny tiny. Does it smell like... No. See, in the military, they were iodine taps. And people that like have nothing. been in the, in the army and whatnot, they, they know all about uh, water purification taps. I've actually drank, drank um, water out of a river in Panama, purified with iodine tabs, and it's, it's fine, you know, so, okay. okay. So, th so the chemicals. Now, so this assumes, again, you've got water. Of course, the life straw. This is a super easy thing to use. Thanks, Sparky's I'm not Rudd. sure what the, the life is on it, uh, no pun intended, but super <laughs> easy. It has all the filtration built in. Super light. I keep this in my bug out bag. I keep that in my bug out bag. And you obviously suck the water right up through it. It doesn't do much for Berkey filtering. Filter. Yeah, the, the little Berkey. Um, we, we had the guys from Casual Preppers, and we asked them what they, what they would have on a desert island if it was only one item. And nice. Mini Berkey was yeah. Mini Berkey. One, one of the guys. Okay. Little Berkey. So, so I, I, can I we talk about, like, so back when we had our, we used to, we had, yeah. uh, Friday when we had our gathering mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. our team, mm -hmm. Eric used to make us do, like, team building sports, yeah. like, build solar stills and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But I remember you talking to. about when, no, 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 like, go ahead. No, go ahead. he liked to make us go out in the 100 degrees and, like, build things. Yeah. That was a different team. <laughs> trying to, trying so, to break in. So, I do remember two things, and I and I noticed this when I hike here, because in the beginning, like when the snow melts, the waters are running rapid, right? But then yep. towards now, like it's really starting to really dry out where the streams don't make it to the end. Um, and uh, he always said, look for where there's greenery, right? Look for where the, the, the stuff is going to gather towards the water, like where things are going to go where it's green. Right, and then right. second thing is, if possible, let the water be slightly moving, and yeah, trickling, sure. right? So it's filtering right. itself over the rocks instead of just stillness and stagnant. Um, you know, still like find the water, then moving water, then if it's still water, filter it. That's it. Fantastic stuff. All right, I've got a couple, I got two more things I want to talk about. So two now, more. now if you don't oh, have up, water, Adam? if you don't have water that's available, the next best thing to do is Bobby, what's try to here? eat leaves. <laughs> yeah. Eat well, leaves if, and you, die. if you got vines around, I mean, you should probably know about the. Vegetation He's in your area. He's taking us back to biblical times during if, the Garden of Eden. If you can, yeah, never drink downstream from livestock. Good idea. Uh, <laughs> if if you have greenery around you, that's usually a good indicator that water's nearby. Now you still might have to dig a heck of a lot down in the in the ground. But one of the easiest things you hear, if you have this survival book, guarantee one of the things they're going to show you in there is the solar still. Okay, and the solar still we made those. I mean, everybody make them. Yeah, and it, I didn't even it, know what that was. It is a lot of work, and you a have lot. to have a lot of stuff, and and you also have to have a lot of patience. You know what it's like? Has anyone ever taken honeysuckles and tried to get the drop of like the honey from this honeysuckle? That's about the pace that you're getting hydration yeah. from this solar. Oh thing. no, not even that. Not even that. It's so slow, especially if you're in an arid environment like we're in. That water. Now, if you're out east or Florida, or where there's a little bit more humidity, humidity. you're going to be okay, probably, don't know. Um, we didn't do that exercise out there, we did out here in the desert. So, so here's, here's the thing. So find yourself some greenery. And <laughs> is that from your house? It is, actually. This is it's a, like we don't have that around This here. is an apple tree. Okay. okay it's good. either me, I take it, or the deer take it. So I said I'm going to use it for a demo. Um, and it was a little long anyway, it needed to be cut. So, so it's, this is so super easy. It's unbelievable. All you do is you get yourself a bag. Do you need and, help? And how light is that to keep, you know, in your, in your go bag or in your cargo pocket? Just, you always need to have some plastic bags with you. Uh, by the way, we did a interview with James Bender. He's coming out Tuesday, I think. Right, Bobby? Tuesday is I was like, he's coming here. Oh, no, his uh, video is dropping on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday morning. Okay, Tuesday morning. We're going to drop that. And one of the things Waypoint I asked him, survival. I asked him about is YouTube. What, what do you do with a plastic bag? And he's got some ideas in there. Okay, this is your standard Walmart bag. Yep, Walmart bag. Um, so you could do it with a Ziploc or with a probably this. I think this would be fine. Basically, what you're trying to do is, is create a little bit of a, 
a sauna in here and you stick this guy around your, your greenery as much as you can find. And you want to make sure that the tree... Can I stuff or, or, it? Like, can I really or, pack it in there? Yeah, totally. Or the okay. vegetation is, um, you know, is alive, okay? And then you take a rubber band or uh, some sort of other rope Roper. or binding and, and basically... Bungie. 550 cord, whatever. 550 cord. And you, you just do this right here. And, you know, tighten it up. You want to tighten it up. Because basically what's going to happen... What, what's going on here? You know, tighten it up. Well, this was the part that you don't need. Okay. okay. Uh, or you could try to stuff it in there. But the more greenery you can get in here, the better results you're going to have from this process called transpiration. Because the trees going to keep, want to keep breathing. Okay? Trees want to keep breathing. Right? Yep. And in the process, they're doing their, you know, chlorophyll thing. And uh, the water that are in these leaves and being carried up through the roots of this tree it's going to collect on the inside of your bag. And believe it or not, after a day in the sun, we you're, did this. You're, you're going to get there was a, a nice... There was like a half a cup. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. two or three tablespoons Yeah, there least. was enough to get a there little was, bit of a swig down. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And this is such a quick, easy hack. But I mean, you can have multiple of these going on at go. one time. Kathleen does it with tomato plants. Yeah, tomatoes probably are... Transportation, is that yep. what it's called? Trans Transpiration. Is what it's called. Transpiration. Transportation. Okay. That's probably my. So that you, was in you can, here. You can do that. Look, I mean, with this Walmart bag, I guarantee you this will work. And then, if you have a Ziploc bag, that might make it a little easier to get a nice tight seal if you don't have a rubber band. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. Now, the last thing I want to show you. Okay, you ready for this? We got to talk. Tell us. We got to talking about. You may not have fresh water. You might have salt water. This one is so fascinating to me. I can't stop with this one. Go ahead. Now, I have to admit, I have not tried this, but I read up on it because we had to talk about uh, this with Gray Man and also, again, with Ian Herbert Jones, our, our sailor, our skipper, who's traveling around the world. I think he's just south of the Canary Islands right now, by the way, if you want to look him up on Golden Globe Race. He's on day 14. He's, he's for day five, he left. Day four, yeah. September 4th, yeah. on a 260-day travel so here, here's what you tour. can do. Okay, this is my standard issue canteen cup. Okay, and as you you, you may know, canteen. I'm sorry, I don't I didn't bring it because it was dummy corded my my I feel my like belt, you used to my have LCD. That here. Yeah, it's at home. Okay. Um, but this is a really cool deal, and they make these inserts. And basically, what you do here, if you're in the military, you know this. You can have uh, your fire happening under here, Whoa, heat tabs or other that's stuff, so fun. a sterno, and basically you can heat heat the canteen, heat the water, okay? And that, if you have standing water, that's great. Okay, that'll that'll. I could use my tab in there now, and just yeah, wait, right? Well, no, I mean, yeah, you could if you didn't have right. a fire. But right, if, that's if, what I'm saying. Or I didn't have a be uh, container to right. bottle my water. But if you want to boil this stuff, okay, if you want to boil it, then it will also serve the purpose of purifying it. Correct. Right, because it'll kill the bugs. Yep. Okay, that's the, that's the idea. Now, you got to make sure this stuff's not like sediment and just a little dirt. Okay, so what I want to get to, though, is take your Nutrient Survival Texas can. Texas in the house. Hi, Lisa. Take your Nutrient Survival in the, uh, can here. And what you want to do, again, I haven't tried this, but I think theoretically this would work. You need another can or collecting uh, vessel of some sort that you could put inside, okay, so it's like a double boil. It's like a double boil. But I don't put any liquid right. in the, now, the second boil. Now, here's the thing. So what you want to do is you want to fill up the inside, I'm sorry, the, the, the big can, um, not so that it's over the rim of your inside vessel, okay? Now, you could probably get really smart about this and get them that perfectly sized and nest and all that stuff. But th I'm telling you, this is going to work. This is going to work. So basically, it's like a double boil, exactly. Mm -hmm. But nothing in the second. You're not melting anything. It's going to be no, a collective container. No, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay? okay, so you're filling up this guy probably about here with salt water. This is how you get fresh so water out ocean. of salt water. I'm at the ocean. That's right, fresh or, water out of salt water. Okay. Fill that guy up. You a put lake. this in here. Okay, and now, of course, I've got my, my fire thing. And then my bag that I, that I had before. So basically, you're, you're using the same concept as a solar still. The collection of evaporation to drink. Exactly. Using the same concept, except the water is already inside this can. It's just salt water. But what's going to happen, okay? Hi, Eliza Jane. What's going to happen as I, as I push this down, put maybe a little pebble or rock there, put a, you know, put a rubber band or something, and then you could even probably bring this up so you don't okay. catch this on I fire. I said this before pre-program. 
Uh, is that going to melt? No, it won't melt. You can, if you put water inside a oh, paper right, bag, right? But you this can, is you can, we can do this test. Okay, I think okay? we should. We'll, we'll light the bottom of that bag. It will not burn. Okay. Okay. It will All not right. burn. Okay. Unless you've got the fire roaring, then right, yeah. anything's going to well, be consumed yeah, of by course. it. So this so, is a so, mind boggle right now. So okay. I think I'm this is what would work. I haven't tried this. I think this would work. So I'm pretty sure this would work. So, so basically, what's going to happen is, go ahead. No, I'll go ahead. I'm following you. This is a so, lot. So you have the you have the salt water on the outside of your co collection vessel, not over the over the rim. Right. So it's okay. And then as you heat this this guy, and I bet you, you probably won't even have to heat it. That just accelerates it. But if you let it sit like this and let the sun do its work, it's going to do the same thing, right? Some of that water is going to evaporate. It'll collect on the inside of the plastic bag, and then it will hopefully, right, if you do this thing right, it will drip down. At the very least, you could take it off and lick it, okay? But theoretically, it'll drip so down the into the... So the salt isn't going to go into condensation land? No. Why? Where's the salt? Because it's a heavier compound? Yeah, absolutely. Can some so the, chemists so, so, tell me this? So the salt will be Science, collecting... Science, exactly, Dustin. I'm confused. Okay. The, the like salt will be collecting literature. on the inside of this container. Oh, like 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 you yeah. see like a line. Like you see salts like when, you when the... Yes. Like you see it now when the, the, the streams are going down. So the salt evaporates. Yep. The, the condensation no, becomes... Salt, salt stays. Salt, stays heavy. Yep. The condensation becomes liquid and drippy, and so you're trying to drip it into that center component right. somehow. Right now, or lick the bag. Yeah, I mean, if you're if I'm desperate, I'm doing if it. If you're stuck in the middle of an ocean, yeah, and all you have is salt water around you, you eat that or you drink that salt water, you're gonna get sick to your stomach. You're gonna, I mean, so that's I not gonna help you at all. So I have to get rid of. I have to separate that. I need yeah. the water away yeah. from the salt. You, you got to pull out the impurities. Yeah, lick Whoa. it. Lick it is right. Okay. That is crazy because most that, of the world is water. Like if, so, salt water. If you've ever done something like this, I would oh, love. Oh no, Terry, I'm listening. I'm trying to understand. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Terry, I know that I. I, I this is you. a laugh for my brain. I'm following yeah. it. I got to get rid of the salt. Take the water. Lick it. Small body, small brain. Okay, now. I'm serious. Mean. I would love for you guys to try this thing out. I, I got to go do this myself. Okay, I think I'm going to take this home. I'm going to try it out. I might even videotape it. I don't know. Maybe we'll post Wouldn't it. Wouldn't that work All to right? distill regular water, too? All right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely would. To, the whole thing is fascinating. Okay. The one other thing that I wanted to bring up that, that I thought was interesting was tell them about this, Eric. Oh, oh, yeah. This is just a simple, like, uh, tracker tack, mm -hmm. but it's still mm -hmm. on the water family. Yeah, so I can't remember who we were talking to. It it's might like, it might have been it might have been Gray Band. I can't recall. It might have been Rudy. It might have been Carl. I can't remember. It might have been Carl, tactical rifleman. Okay. And so we were talking about uh, water again, and if you are uh, near an ocean, a, a body of water that's salty, okay. If you dig, uh, and, okay. So so m most it of the comes time, comes to the land. Right? Yeah, and and what happens after? The beach. You typically have a berm, like a dune or a something. Dune, yeah. Right. A dune. Okay. Exactly. Now, if you dig on, if you're digging for water, on the seaside of that berm of that dune. No good. You're just going to find more salt water. Okay. But if you dig on the go other over the side dune of the berm, and now I would probably take it 15, 20 feet out, maybe more. I don't okay. know. I need to research this but a little more. But the water table is going to be pretty close. The water table is pretty close, and you and you dig down there, you're going to get fresh water. Okay, guys. Okay? I thought that that was a fun fact. I feel like that that's a survival teaching that I can do. That's it, Jimmy. And that's actually from the Waypoint Survival video launching Tuesday morning. Oh, I miss. I, I love this idea, wait, Jimmy. Can you read that out Jimmy's loud? like, use that salt that's collected inside that vessel as a, as a brine or to preserve meats or other things because salt is awesome i mean salt does so much think about early days pioneer days no it's a, it's a heavy preservative and it's, it's great I mean, you see it's that great. for yep. anything right now exactly wow. so what's going to happen kim the, the salt is going to actually be um you know like you sometimes get the uh, the buildup the calcium buildup and the, the mineral buildup in places yeah right? absolutely and the salt's going to have the same effect it's going to be building up on the inside of that can sunshine state right. survival please get back to us i yeah, feel like do you've that. got some, try that yeah let us let us know and yep. then i would bring a life straw just in case <laughs> just in case you're really thirsty and you're counting on our knowledge here and, but, and i think one of the lessons but that is here also is, in that book that same th advice that he just th said this took me about again less than 10 minutes i grabbed all this stuff in fact i grabbed the can when i came in here <laughs> you did this stuff is hanging around the house and you need to 
be aware of where your stuff is. You know, if you keep it in a bug out bag, great, makes it nice and easy. But I've, I just showed you like four or five things that you can do to get water. So I did like, Eric's house is definitely prepared because I walked in, I'm like, again, dog sitting for him. He's got five flashlights at the door, like lined up. I just picked one. I was like, oh, this one's great. I was like, and here's what I'm thinking. How many lumens is this? Yeah, yeah, you need <laughs> like, to. It was awesome. I'm like, yeah. I feel like he yeah. call the aliens in with them. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Actually, so, yes. one, one is. One was a Stranger Thing the, was, flashlight. That's for it's their... It's the one that... It's the black one that I pressed at the top. Was that the one? Demogoblins or something. I don't know what they fight. Listen, or, I, didn't or go to, I didn't go to Stranger Things yeah. world with Clyde. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. That's it. So, what are we doing? Uh, Nutrient survival water coming soon. Not kidding. That has been on the docket. We've, we've talked about that. We've talked about that. We've Not kidding. About that. Don't yep. forget to like us and subscribe to us, yep. Yep. but not upside down. Okay. Subscribe. So, hey, Becky. Um, okay. So see how I kept it Thank real? You. There's no politics Sunshine at all today. Nothing, none of that. Although I did notice that uh, there was a, a recent um, article about the place the most people are leaving is California. Okay. And Cal what, why? California. Because they're, they're well, woke or because it's I think it has burning. a lot to do with taxes. <laughs> uh, I think it has a lot to do with politics and policies. And there's just a lot of other places. You know, we're a free nation. You can move around. Hopefully, you know, if, if a lot of people can't because of family or job or whatever, but you know, um, you guys are welcome to come on out. Whoa. Come on out. I will, I will help community members the best of my ability. Now you Whoa. need to, you need to help defend, protect and defend. That's what I told Becky. Defend. You can come over, but I'm putting a rifle in your hands and you're going to, you're going to be the, out there on a uh, lookout. I give myself a tribute. If they need to take one, they can take me. I live my life already. Thank you. All right. All right. Good. Give myself a tribute. Do you have your water, boy? That's a concept. All right. Um, <laughs> Matt, Matt Sprit got some strong opinions about California right there. It's, it is awesome. I mean, I had a great time this, this past week. It was beautiful. There are so many beautiful places in California. It's just some of the politics and the taxes. And I mean, I don't know. You have a choice. Literally, there's an imaginary line that separates Nevada and California. We're on, only five miles from on, the California border. On one side, you're going to pay 15%. And on the other side, you're going to pay zero. I know. That's okay. why we're on this side. Well, someone has to fund the enforcement of all those laws. That's right. Well, here, Bobby in, in the back. Here in Nevada, <laughs> here in Nevada, we have the New blessing Jersey. and the curse, the blessing and the curse sure. of casinos. And that basically keeps everybody else from having to pay income tax. That's That's... Basically, it, yep. and this has been a gangbuster year for casinos. I think it's all this pent-up demand. They've never had a better year. When's the last time you went to a casino? Today. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, I had to stop and go to the bathroom. Oh, but you didn't put 20 bucks on black. It was actually, it was at in Susanville, and I think it's uh, there's an Indian reservation there where they can do that stuff. So it was it was a, like a pit stop. I'm okay with gambling. I don't go. It doesn't interest me. But I, if I lose twenty bucks, I just consider a night out and then I'm done. Like I just don't keep going. Yeah. So I, yeah. it's not my thing. It's, uh, it's not even fun anymore. I mean, th these machines. I don't like the they're smoke. Just I can't be in there with the smoke. Yeah, the that, cigarette that is smoke true. Is, like d that's just me. I can't stand smoke outside. And I can't stand smoke. Yep. Secondhand smoke. It's yep. just it's just my thing. That's so right. that deters me a lot. Um, yep. New England prepper. All right, all right, all right. All right. We gonna, so, we're gonna get ready to a prize. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So, so can I, you remind people what we're doing again here? Yeah, I here think the, I think it should be water. Oh. I think that's pretty pretty obvious, Bobby. Today we got water. Water. Wa water. Jer if you're from Jersey, it's W A T A. All right. <laughs> no, W A T E R, all caps. When Bobby gets it up there. So we have Eric's favorite. That's this one. That's that one. So that hearty favorite. apple cinnamon oatmeal and my favorite to the, the crew today is the creamy yeah. vanilla shake. I'm not opposed to putting a little scoop of this in, the, in that. I think yeah, that that's that, a fantastic morning meal. And the red cap whole milk, if you really want to go I'm gonna try too that. creamy. I'm going gonna, gonna to put a little scoop, maybe not a full half cup, because the serving No, I would do like a tablespoon is, or two. I think that yeah, that would be... That'd be two meals. And I usually have a shake for lunch, as you know. Wolfpack Love pouch. It. Awesome. And then your... Hat, you know, I like to put yep. it over my headset just because it looks dramatic it and, and kooky. And then the scarf. Right. And I love these. Right. It's the right. perfect weight that's to it. get ready for the holidays because we're like 90 days till Christmas. No, that's not true. 85 days till Christmas, probably. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe. Maybe we can convince mm -hmm. Eric for 12 days of giveaways. I'm just going to try that mm -hmm. just right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> keep, keep convincing. It might just be the right. Becky show because Eric's <laughs> got things to do. But, uh, you know. I'll be here because I don't have any me, PTO me the, left. Me and the Grinch, we're going to team up for that one. Okay, this deserves a smile. 
What happened? Did we get fifty-five thousand dollar order? Oh, well, one hundred thirteen. I'll oh, take it. A small so smirk, amazing. anyway. Come on. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. No, every every order is me? equal of value to us in our hearts. Because preps a little bit at a time. Some people just be like, want to just That's, do it one shot. I'll tell you, that is one of the most amazing things that I appreciate about our customers. Which is, they purchase things. Well, of course. <laughs> Did you get a ding? Oh no, no you're on but, silent. But here it is. You don't have to do it all at once. Okay. Little by just, little. Just Payday get started. Preps. Just get started. Payday preps, like like Rudy says. You know, get a little here, get a little there. Don't just focus on food. Have layers of food, not just our stuff. Lots of different like types us. of foods. Okay. Like us. And I'm not doing the hat. Have Eric try on the hat and the scarf. Eric. No, no, no. no. Eric, come on. It'll mess up my hair. <sighs> Okay. Um, I didn't do that today, folks. All right. There you go. So, so anyway, so yeah, but the repeat rate Water, from our customers, caps. we get probably 50% repeat, which is phenomenal. Think phenomenal. about it. Think about it. I remember when you said that back a couple of years, you're like, you know, the best metric is the repeat customer, like over yep. and over. Yep. And I was like, that's so high. Yep. But it used to be like 5%, then 10%, 20%, right. 30%, 40%. Right. 50% return rate is amazing. That means all you guys are coming back again and again yep. to add a little bit each time. Or and we're adding new customers, of course. And new but, products. But yeah. And it's great. So there's we make reason more to come back. All right. So, and don't forget the NRE thing, too. Because this is, a, this, is, call it, this is an awesome little sampler pack. I it's, gave that out yesterday. I saw that. Seven different items in here. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, shake, snack, coffee, liquid nutrient. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's a 1,500 and, calorie on the go, grab and go, yeah. bug out, bug in, yeah. lunch. Pieces. So if you were to compare this versus an MRE, on a calorie for calorie basis, our stuff is two and a half times more. But in terms of the actual food that is in an MRE versus ours, uh, we're 75% more nutrients than the equivalent MRE. It seems like an easy uh, choice. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very good. It's very good. But Yay. we're two and a half times more than the standard. Water, the water, standard. water. All right. Oh, so Bobby, that's it. I good. saw. Oh, Scotty bringing back the mullet. mullet. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I know. Scotty. Scotty can talk with his little hairdo thing and headband going on there. <laughs> he, might, he might be hiding a mullet under All right. there. Uh, now, I'm going to go with. Can I, I'm going to pick the word. We already put it, picked it. Uh, too late. We oh, already we have did? 320 entries. Oh, water. It's, it's water. We already said that. <laughs> what did okay. you think it was going to be? I thought it was going to be tequila? mullet. Because mullets are. No, not tequila. <laughs> mullets are not only very off brand. Okay, all you water people, psych. I feel like it's we can. Could... No, 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 no. It's water. It's no, no, water. No, no, water, 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 water. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Yep. Like us, subscribe to us, tell yeah. a friend. Oh, Bobby, do we have a comment thing going on today? Uh, well, they need, yeah. So I think um, we want to hear some water stuff just because I saw so many interesting ideas yeah. going by that we weren't talking about. So if we got that in the comments after the live Yeah, stream. so any other water things we're missing or things that you tried, if we set a recommendation and you experiment with it and you found a different uh, outcome, we'd love to know that. So let us know. Business in the front, party in the back. That's what I'm talking about, about the mullet. Tomorrow's word is mullet. Okay, Jan. <laughs> okay, so we have 424 people. We want to pull the trigger? Four, no, 424. Why are there only 325 n well, water people? Well, there's 50 that are slackers. Wait, I'm going to just talk about one more thing. They have another 30 seconds Every, to get their stuff together. Everybody else is upset with water. you. Like, no, pull the, hat, pull the name. Pull the name. Pull the, I know, but That's, somebody said, Bobby, someone said, where do they send the picture? If they do have, like, is that... Um, so for now, just send it probably to support at NutrientSurvival.com or just tag us... On Instagram in a post, or like tag us whatever. at Nutrient Survival if you're on Instagram or Facebook. If not, if you want us to get the direct uh, file or yeah. a picture that we yep. can, and by doing that, if you're giving it to us, we're assuming that you want us to use it. So, yeah. so we no, will yeah. possibly make fun of you. <laughs> no, we won't make fun of you. <laughs> we'll just we we're going to talk it through. What do you mean? We, we make fun of ourselves, not of our customers. Oh my gosh. Can, did you see we're my laughing hair? with you, not uh, uh, at you. you. And life is about just sharing our fun shortcomings and past memories. Eric, we're going to get a picture of you. Water. I'll see if I, oh, I have, I have a high school picture. Talk about big hair. Don't care. Ooh, that. All right. Okay. You ready? Okay. Slackers that didn't, uh, it brought us up by five. Here we go. Way Boom. to go. All those right. who want to just be here for the entertainment. Wow. Look at all those names going by. Maybe they really do just like us if they're not entering and want the prize. I'm waiting for our first repeat winner. Nope. Nope. My prepping journey. My prepper journey. Awesome. I love Yay. it. How appropriate. Cute. There's a little cat face in oh, there. That's, that's so cat. sweet. So Congrats. my prepper really cool. journey, congratulations. Remember, I won at NutrientSurvival.com. 
um, and send us your name and address, and we will get this out to you tomorrow. We'll probably leave the building because today's Sunday, fun day. Tomorrow's yep, Monday. Yep, yep. Today's First the Lord's Day. day. The, the Lord's Day. It you, will you, always be the Lord's Day. Yeah, last last right. year first you first day of the week. You took us to church last week. You got any final words for us uh, this I week? I didn't make it I didn't make it this week because we were away. Driving. No, no, so. no. But you you know, nope. just nope. love thy neighbor as thyself. There you go. Love thy neighbor as okay. thyself. Okay, do unto others as you have the new as you. Okay. All right, okay, guys. That is it for today. Thank you for joining us on day eighteen. Tomorrow you tomorrow day uh, tomorrow we have a, a special guest enter in. I get the, I get the off. <laughs> oh, that's right. Becky's going to take the day off. Another day. Can, uh, so Not the day. I'm going to take off camera because I got to. I thought I you were taking know. the day. No, that's the week after. Wow, I give you a lot of vacation. I'm running out of time. I have like 40 oh hours left. Gosh. It's really sad, but right, it's fine. Right, I got it. All right. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat station, same bat time. 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm EC. I'm BG. And we're out. Bobby oh, in yeah, the that's back. Bobby, too. And Mimi. And we're out. Oh, here we go, Eric. Somebody please take her. Get her out of here. Give her the hawk. <laughs>